Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in previous videos, we have looked how to save secrets in Azure Key Vault and retrieve them either using our Visual Studio identity or using MSIs in Azure. Uh, but sometimes there are some projects that are not going to Azure or maybe you don't want to pay for a Key Vault for development or something like that. So in those cases, usually what people do is they keep the secrets in the config files in production and before that, they either keep them in the config files, which is bad. You should never do that uh, because people can steal that from GitHub or something. Uh, so you should never have credentials in committed code. So then the other option is .NET has a way to like keep your secrets in um, in kind of like your development environment. So we're going to go look at that. So in here, I just created like literally just to test. I just put it inside the the same application we have been working on, the SQL and email with Blazor application. I, I in, Since in here we did the Key Vault one, I thought I would do one with just getting the connection string from um, our .NET secrets in our machine. So f first of all, I'm just gonna show how to do it. So basically um, how you do it is you go to, in PowerShell, you go to your folder where your solution is. So as you can see, I'm inside the solution folder. I think here you first do um, user secrets in it. So this is going to create kind of like the place where the secrets are going to be stored and where uh, Visual Studio knows where to get the secrets from. From there, you can just start adding secrets and the format is .NET user secrets set. And then uh, the first key is equivalent to, so if we go here, the first key is equivalent to this part, like the section part, and then the second, like it's, a, it's colon, and then the second part is whatever the name is here. So in this case, we're gonna do the second one that I'm doing connection string and secret connection, and then the value I'm just putting as a, as a value, but this should be your actual secret. And as you, you can see here, I don't have it saved in here. So like, it's not even in the app settings. So it, this is to show that it doesn't have to be there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. And now it's successfully added and I can like list it. So in here, I can see all the secrets I've saved. And you'll see that I have the connection string secrets and all this is in my machine and it's never gonna leave my machine. So if I commit this to Azure, uh, sorry, to GitHub or Azure DevOps or something, it's not going to go there and any every developer will have to set up this in their machine. It's important to add that to the instructions because when I started working, they didn't add that. And I was like, where do you get the information from? And they told me to get it from a key vault. And then I saw that it wasn't like there. So I was like, oh, I can't commit this. And I kept kind of like adding and removing it from my app settings before every commit until one day I forgot and cred scan caught it. And they were like, what the hell are you doing? And I told them and then when they were like, no, you not so smart person, you use this instead. So make sure you add this to your documentation. Um, so yeah, let's just run it and see how it works. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It'll just get its string as expected. So we're gonna go here and we're just gonna click the API where I put it and I put the breakpoint after it. So I just went ahead and got the secret we set. So that's how you set it up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.